Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. We finished installing the mini split air conditioning system. We have many videos showing you the whole process. Right now I'd like to show you how we install the inside evaporator unit. Let's get started. All right, it's time to go ahead and hang the bracket for the inside evaporator unit. I went ahead and marked center on the wall here. Um, so this is about center. And I went ahead and squared it off and I just took my Sharpie and drew a line uh, to keep, help me keep it uh, alignment. I chose to install hardware or bolts here, here, there, and then here and here and down to here and here and here and here. That's a lot of hardware but I like to do overkill. I told you in the last video for my other project that I used the uh, toggle bolts and it was a little bit of, I could I get them to work but uh, they're solid but uh, a little bit harder to work with. I did a little more research and I decided to try these sheetrock anchors, okay? You drill a pre-drill hole and you screw those in with a, with a, there's a Phillips deal, just drive it in and then you put the screw in and it flares flare this out into sheetrock. But for this, um, it'll flare that out and, and cause some uh, resistance, but it's really the threading it into the, the, um, the eighth inch um, panel board. And so I went ahead and already did one here. You can see right up there. And it uh, drove it in and ran the screw. And it's gonna be plenty strong. Uh, very strong because it has to unthread in order to to fall out. It's not going to unthread All right, just a note here. I went ahead and drilled the holes. I started with an eighth inch bit I moved up to a quarter and then the seven sixteenths and then I pushed in the uh, Kind of leaves a, a burr around the edge. I just pushed it in so this is uh, nice and flat Okay, and then all you got to do do this with one hand here is Take the, I already got it, uh, it pushed in there. Just take your, let's say get a little bit of angle here. I'll show you how to do it. Just, just drive it in. Go slow, right like that. Okay, that easy. Okay, you had to do some adjustments here. Um, I did notice that the ceiling is a little bit bowed there. And so that threw me off a little bit. So what I did is I oversized the holes to a quarter inch bit and use the washers actually I think I may have gone a little bit bigger than quarter inch but use washers and that gave me the ability to turn it um, okay I got that done it's nice and tight I mean it's it's not going anywhere uh, note when you're drilling the 7 16 bit and all the other drill bits just drill through the sheeting only don't go through the foam there may be wiring back there okay just drill just through the, the eighth inch panel board only and the, uh, the insert will drive into the foam and if there's any uh, uh, wires back there then it'll just push them aside. Got the unit hung just just hang on the bracket and uh, on the electrical line what I did I just did it on the bed there but I, you, you, pick, you pull up the top cover okay there's a little access panel here. You feed the wire harness through the back, and there's four wires, black, red, white, and green. And you put them on the terminal block, and it doesn't matter which one goes to which one except for the ground, the green. But if you put the black on number one, the red on number two, and the white on number three, write that down or take a picture, because you've got to do the exact same sequence on the outside unit Black on one, red on two, white on green. It doesn't matter what the color as long as you keep it the same from here down to the compressor unit. Okay, so tighten those up. On the terminal block there, there's a, there's a cord restraint clamp. Clamp that down, put that cover back on. We're done with that. Okay, this uh, ground, on this wire, wire loom, which is the control wires, they control the function of the unit, the signal wire. Along with the drain, you, you go ahead and um, attach the drain, cut it off, giving your the full length of um, 
uh, of the fitting and go push it all the way on. It'll click on there. Make sure it's nice and tight. The drain has got to be on the bottom of the bundle, okay? And it doesn't matter where the uh, wires go, but I'm just going to temporarily put them out of the way so we can go ahead and get the line set put on, okay? What I do is I take a 4x4 block, I gently pick this up, I put the 4x4 block in there, let it rest on that. It stays okay that way. You can bring the half inch line, the quarter inch line down, get the connections done, bundle it with a zip tie, push it up and then close it down, okay? So that is pretty easy to do, just got to, you know, the instructions are not that great, but uh, just basically block this up, make sure it's hooked on the top, okay, so it's not going to fall unless you bump it really hard, okay, get that out of the way. Now, when we connect these lines, well, actually, what I want to do first is I'm going to go ahead and get this line set uncoiled, it comes in a coil, and I'm going to go ahead and uncoil it, you don't want to bend it, but just gently uncoil it. So we, we can feed it through the hole in the floor and get it routed up and over, okay? I will do that and I'll get back to you after I get it routed through. Gently unbend it, feed it through the floor, get it, you know, moved out to the outside there. Later on we'll get it put up and uh, taken care of on the outside. But we want to have that come up straight and then make a gentle bend here and over, okay? And then I will make a line set cover for this line, uh, this whole assembly right here, the line set, the drain hose, and electric wire, and cover it up really nicely. If you want to see the my other video I made on how to make that line set cover, check out my other video. But I'll make one, we'll put it on here, it'll be covered up really nice. I'm gonna be running the line set down the corner of the wall. And instead of going through the uh, exterior um, of the unit, I want to go through the floor it'll look a lot cleaner and in order to find where the framing is because this is a wall here that has a frame and the wall here has a frame it's a metal frame and so I'm gonna have to find the place to drill with that hole saw a two and three eighths hole, uh, hole to accommodate my two inch line set cover and so in order to find that I just started uh, estimating where the, the frame might be and I used uh, the quarter inch drill in my drill and I drilled a hole, a hole I started drilling holes where I think it might be and once it poked through past the frame, here it hit the frame, here it hit the frame so this hole here it went through and so then I measured from the, uh, I, what I did is I drilled the hole and uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand here and I put the uh, drill bit Ah. Basically, I'm sorry, I had to do this with one hand. I put the drill bit through, okay, and measured from the extruding uh, drill bit at the bottom over to the frame until I got uh, the inch and a quarter distance. And so this hole here is the one, my, my finger here, I'm pointing to it is the one that has an inch and a quarter from both the back frame and the side frame. So that's where I'm going to drill the hole. So, you know, start drilling some holes. You can cock them up later to seal them off. But you need to find the right location. And I'll show you from the bottom side what you have to do to make sure you have no wires or anything in the way. So that hole I found was the, the right one. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it in that hole. Okay, just like that, and I'll show you what from underneath what I did. First of all, I took a razor blade and made an X to cut this out of the way so I can see, because this is somewhere in here, the, the, the line set's gonna come through, then we can seal this up later. Here's the, the one frame on this side, and here's the other frame on that side. And so I finally found, you can see it right there, the drill bit sticking through, and it measures an inch and a quarter and an inch and a quarter. I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life.